Let me. Here we go. <laughs> Sounds like it's right in this crack. It's a vein of gold. <laughs> Beans for everyone tonight. Bye. <laughs> Beans. Beans and coleslaw tonight, tonight. boys. Yes. Let me guess. We're down here today at one of the mines doing a little safety rehabilitation on the front of the attic here so it's a little bit safer for us to come in and out of here. Here we got the added entrance. We got tunnels veering off to the right left. Got some material sloughed in down here. We're taking off a little bit of the top so we get more airflow into the mine, have a better walking path, and also we'll be able to run a wheelbarrow down here. We're doing all this work by hand, hand tools only. Our old access road is right here, but it's partially washed out. So we're gonna fill in the low spot here, bring it up to level, and we'll have a much safer, flatter working area. So right above the edit, Dave over here found this, this pretty cool old lucky horseshoe. This very well could have been from a mule or old horse that the old timer that actually mined this mine used, which is pretty darn neat. Perfect. Well, we're getting work done. These boys behind me are doing a fantastic job. We're getting the ramp built. We've already sampled and found some really good gold on the inside. Now it looks like this mine was worked in two different phases. Uh, the first one was probably 100, 120 years ago. So we're gonna get in here today, do a little metal detect and see if we can't find any relics that'll tell us what time period this mine was worked on both occasions. Now this is the third modern day and we're gonna pull out some more ore. Woo, another load to the road. And rinse and repeat. Mike will probably do about 20 more today. Call again and get in the hole. This is hard work guys, but it actually feels really good. We're, we're rejuvenating, rehabilitating an old mine, seeing if we can make it work for us and our families. We're hunting, we're hunting for gold, we're hunting for the dream, the treasure, and it feels pretty badass to me. We're doing what most people are afraid to try. Exactly. And if you don't try, you're never going to find it. That's for damn sure. Hopefully we end up on some gold. That's a full one. Woo! All right. Another dump. Perfect. So on our quest to figure out the, the dating of this mine, I think we got a grasp of the time frame when the first miners were in here. We found that really old horseshoe. Right here in front of the attic, there's this old tin can. And Mark here is going to tell us a little bit about it, which will date it for us. Well, from my opinion, this is the, how the earliest tin cans were formed. They would uh, take the can, they would fill it with whatever they were going to fill it with, they would cap it. This tin it has a little hole in the middle. They would uh, float it on hot water to pasteurize it. Then they would seal it with a lead solder. And right here you can see that circle. So this was open and they'd have another piece of tin with lead solder. They would solder on that cap, seal the can, give it to the miners and send them out into the field. And you can't understand why they died of lead poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I could be wrong on the beginning date, but somewhere between 1893 and 1897 is when they perfected this process. And I believe they used it until about 1907, 1908. All right, cool. So we got that one, that one clue so far showing us that the old timer was probably in the early 1900s. We're gonna head into the mine here to see if we can't find any more relics from the old timers and whoever came in later. We might find some coins. Uh, some tools, maybe round or square nails that will help us date the mine. I also outfitted the gold bug too with the small coil which is prime for this application. We're also going to detect the vein a little bit, uh, try to find some glory hole pockets. Then we're going to come in here and chisel out some samples from the hot spots. Here we go. 
We got a lot of digging to do. Debris on the ground. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. Don't go dog. Go. Gold. Haha. <laughs> it's where you find it. That's right. So we have a tunnel that veers off to the left and a tunnel to the right. We're in a metal tech floor, see if we can find some relics and uh, detect around. See how this is stacked here? Yeah, I know. So you created a wall. So I think the last guy who came in here, I believe he hit this wall where we have this quartzite and the vein shifted and shot off in this direction. If you look down there, it looks like he came in and chiseled this top portion all the way back around the corner. Instead of carrying the tailings outside of the mine, he was just piling it up here on the floor. You know, he created this little damn wall and left enough room, just enough room where he'd crawl back there and kind of glory hole the top. Some sort of critter must have brought that in here. And ooh, actually someone had a meal. Someone definitely had a meal. Yeah, we have some feathers or fur. Hmm. That's pretty wild. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna grab my gold bug too here. Uh, this is the most sensitive VLF on the market. So it's ideal for ultra small gold, small flakes, uh, and this application, this is the best detector for this. Um, we're gonna scan some of the veins, some of the veinal materials, see if we get any hits. Uh, we've already found some free milling gold in here, so you never know, we might find a glory bucket. So I got the small head on the machine. We're gonna fire it up. I'm gonna head off in the left tunnel, detect the ground a little bit, and see if we can't find any relics. All right, all right. So right here, I got something. Ooh. Here I definitely have metal, and then this target right here, that's a hot rock sound, but it could be a piece of vein. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> All right, let's dig that up. Pulled it out of the hole, whatever it is. It's loud, it's a good zip zip too. Could be a nail, who knows what the heck it is. It's mainly rock. Right here. I see it. A piece of tin. Just screaming, look at that little thing was screaming on that detector. We got a couple pieces of blasting cap. We got, we got a screamer right here. Is that black thing? Ooh, that might be. This, this right here, which is a piece of rock. And it could be a piece of iron. There could be gold and it's super heavy. Uh, we're not. We're gonna hang on to this. Hit it with a magnet, and uh, possibly crush it up. But that's that came out of the vein, and it's screaming on the detector. We got a top of a fuel can or something here. Put that in the bucket. We got something deeper right here. Yeah. Ooh, pulled it out. Something round. Is that it? That looks like it. Now what the heck is that? This kind of looks like a grommet from a tarp or a pair of canvas pants or a canvas bag or something. Doesn't tell us anything. Mountain lion turd. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a tin can. This is a piece of vein that has iron in it. Might actually keep these that I find, crush them, see if we pull any gold out. I took a sample up here. Might be really interesting. Yeah, I'll hit it with a detector. See and then there's a nice quartz right here. Yeah. So I, that quartz looks real nice. Yeah, all that in there does. 
it like opens up into a little bit of a room right here. We got another carcass on the floor. Uh, so just past this uh, pile here is where we saw the cougar's nest uh, last time. It's a little creepy. Just on the other side of this pile, he had created a nice little bed, <laughs> bedded area. <laughs> um, but a couple videos ago, we took a sample from the vein right up in here. Uh, I believe I took a little bit more back here, but I primarily dug in this portion right here where it's clay and iron colored and we got some really, really good free milling gold. Tiny bit of sulfides, but this is all free milling gold out of that ballroom. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So, I don't know. I'm gonna see if the detector hits on it. And actually what I was seeing was visible gold, so we might even be able to spot some gold in that material. Be nice to hit a little pocket of gold. Ooh, we'll listen to that. Let's see if I can get in there a little bit better. Ooh, right there. Ooh. Right there. You hear that, dude? I do. That's screaming. Let's take a closer look. Maybe we can see some gold in there. I should have marked it. It was somewhere right here, wasn't it? Yep. What's going on? We definitely got some iron sheeting. Uh, you know, see this iron mineralization? Some manganese. But for some reason, it was zinging right here and all this material looks the same. So I think we're gonna take a sample uh, right out of here. We'll crush and pan it and uh, see what we get. There's a little quartz stringer, solid quartz right here between all this mineralized material. I mean, this is mineralized pretty much from this plane down through here to this plane here. It's about a foot and a half thick in this section. And then shoots off back in here as well. We got a really good signal on the vein right there. We're gonna chisel that out in a minute. But looking back this way, we got one clue from the old timer. We got a big old tin can. Ah, this actually looks like a paint bucket. Um, and he's probably using it for ultra high grade ore. Um, you can see where the handle would have gone here and there would have been another handle on this side and a wire. Maybe those bits of wire were part of the handle that I found. And this is a little bucket he used for his lunch pail or, you know, filling it with high grade ore or who knows. Uh, this style of pail could actually help us date the mine as well or the latest workings. So it's pretty neat. Oh man, look at this. Holy cow. That's a, this is a deer, a deer jawbone. Who the heck drug this back here? I bet you this deer didn't wander back in here. I bet you that little bed right there, which was for the mountain lion, I can almost guarantee you he drug this deer carcass back in here and ate it. That's kind of scary. Because <laughs> we're a ways back here now. Damn, that's wild. Uh, we got some bird feathers. Someone's eating a bird also. I don't know if I should you know, grab my knife. I'll take a look. Oh my God, look at this. Okay, so I got my knife just in case. I got some more bones right here. Uh, what is that, a hip? Um, part of the hip bone or something? Well, we got a bigger bone here, so that's probably that mountain lion again having a snack. Uh, that's a little scary. That's a little scary though for us. I see his bed, it's right there. Um, but fortunately he's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very fortunately. And he's got a knife, I got yeah. something to hit him with. At least we got some protection. We gotta save each other. That's right. We already chiseled out a little pocket. It's getting louder. I mean, 
And there's that iron, well, this iron band right there, but it sounds like it's right here. Yeah. But who knows? It could be anywhere in this zone. It could be all of that zone. I know. But we like this. Let's take that too. metal detector and if it still sounds like it's in that block let's just take this whole ledge off it's still there i think it's in that ledge it's a vein of gold <laughs> well hey at least we're trying in vain that's right all right now this is gonna fall on me we do have some quartz crystals growing back up in here and a lot of times when you have crystals starting to form and grow it can be indicative of larger free mill gold forming as well. That's kind of neat. But something's hitting right in here. So I'm going to see if we can't break that whole block off. Thank you. This is some weird looking stuff. Now this should come off. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now we should probably check it with the metal detector. Sure, I think it's still a mess. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sounds like it's right in this crack, crevice right there. Let's check the, let's put this on the ground and as one big chunk, we'll check it. I'm gonna pull out the other one while I'm up here too. So this okay. was the piece that you'd been hitting on. Yes. So this is the screamer. This is the screamer. Right between that piece and this piece is where it was hitting off the loudest on the detector. There we go. So we'll check some other loose pieces up there. I think we'll, I'll scrape that out too. Okay, because that's looking really good in there. Yeah, we'll check these on the detector. Right here. Oh, I so thought I heard it right that way. There's Lenny. Hi. So we got nothing here. Let's put this big chunk over there. Check it. There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and crush it and see what's in there. We got Let's it. check this one too. Yeah, put it, swap it out. No. It's that one. Okay. And the signal's gone. We got it. Now to see what's in that rock. Good work, boys. <laughs> <laughs> beans for everyone tonight. Bye. <laughs> beans. Beans and coleslaw tonight, boys. Let me guess. It was a minor find. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually, forget the beans. We're having sardines tonight. Sardines. <laughs> or some canned or pickled herring. Herring, you know, little old mops. <laughs> 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 So we're gonna take a little sample out of here as well. Um, so we have some more things to pan tonight. Down by the campfire. Some uh, clay slip gouge like material. Does it feel hard when you're hitting it? It feels soft. What's that? It looks like it feels pretty soft when you're hitting it. It is, it's definitely clay. 
that one that was hitting on the detector, boys. I'm interested to see what's in there. If there's a nice little nugget in there, oh man. So we took our second sample up here. It's kind of slip gougey clay material. Uh, we certainly have some iron. There's a little bit of quartz. Um, I could swear I saw some cubic material as well as I was chiseling this out. So those could have been oxidized uh, pyrite cubes. What you got over there? A uh, spider. Oh, is he right alive? There. I don't know. Where? Where? Right there. See his legs sticking out? Oh, man. He's there. Holy moly. <laughs> He's a big one. Damn. And we can see daylight. Always a good sign. Yeah. Ooh, that first scare feels nice. 